Adaptive Cruise Control is a driving control assistance system. It's cruise control that also assists with acceleration and or braking to maintain a driver selected gap to the vehicle in front of it. Some systems can come to a stop and continue while others cannot. So adaptive cruise control is a very popular feature and I'd like to discuss how it works and where the sensors that are involved are located. Um, do you mind showing us where they're, yeah. where they're located? So let's step around to the front of the vehicle. Um, so with adaptive cruise control, it's, it's taken our normal cruise control that we know about where you know, we can set the speed of the vehicle and it keeps the speed and it's made it a little bit safer. Now we can have the vehicle self pace with the vehicle in front of us by using the radar module in the front bumper. So it's sensing the vehicle in front of us by sending out its radio waves and we're pacing it based on you know, uh, the setting that we select inside the vehicle. The other thing that it's doing as well is it can automatically emergency brake in the event that someone were to slam on their brakes in front of us. Uh, in addition, we have this camera in the front windshield that it's also using uh, while it's looking at the lanes on the road. And that's keeping us in our lanes and avoiding us from leaving our lanes while um, also having the cruise control feature on. Okay, so, um, you know, we in our shop, we always refer to the OEM repair procedures. Mm -hmm. And we find a lot on this system, right, that it can need to be calibrated with, you know, a windshield replacement, a small bumper repair that requires the bumper to come off. Right. Um, are there any other scenarios where you see that the, it may need to be calibrated? Yeah, Amber, like as you mentioned, I mean, it could be as simple as just a windshield replacement, removing the bumper, small bumper repair, even an alignment these days requires some of these systems to be um, calibrated. It, it really just d depends, again, on, on what the OEM service information is saying, the severity of, of the, the collision or the damage that has been done. Um, but again, you know, these systems, they're, 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 they're assisting the vehicle and a driver in the vehicle. So we really, it's really critical that we pay attention to what those uh, service information say. Perfect. Thank you. If you found today's tip helpful, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share the video. Comment below for any future suggestions. These videos are made possible by SCRS. If you aren't currently a member, I encourage you to join. Visit scrs.com or use the link in the description below.